welcome back to my channel, Rainbow Bay. It's me, Janisha Stanley again. Today, I'm going to review the book, The Boxcar Children, The Hundred Year Mystery, Book 150, created by Gertrude Chandler Warner. This book is about four children named Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny that solved a mystery that no one has ever solved for 100 years after someone named Alfred Wintham died from a special manor called Wintham Manor. The four children were wishing to go to some place they had never been before. Their grandfather told them there was a house called Wintham Manor. It wasn't haunted, it was just old. Benny thought it was haunted, but it isn't. Henry told Benny that. It just it just wasn't old. Then, whenever Benny got in with the others, Benny saw there was not one single fun thing in that in Wintham Manor. Ella, their grandfather's friend, told Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny that Alfred J. Wintham didn't did not have a good chance of living there. He just finished building the manor when the terrible influenza epidemic spread throughout the entire town. Mr. Wintham died, Violet whispered. Ella nodded. And guess what? One of the one of the stones actually was a small capsule with a small book called The Journal of the Curious. It had some weird poems. After reading that page of the journal for the curious, they went to the library and met the librarian, Trudy Silverton. Then she went into a small room and grabbed some newspapers and other things too, including one city map. Benny and Henry were looking on it and they had to search the map key for orphanage. It was like, orphanage number 17, Benny found it. Violet figured out the poem by remembering in her photography class that her teacher brought in a camera called a brownie. It looked like a cardboard box with lens. It only cost one dollar. That's why the brownie camera was so famous. And then after figuring it out, Jesse turned them to the next page and read the poem. Then they went to the Main Street filling station after reading the poem, and it was Gus's gas station. Then Gus was asked, when, was, when did the first gas station open in Greenfield? Huh, he thought, maybe it was my grandpa. My grandfather Gus opened this place about 80 years ago, but it has to be a hundred years ago, Benny said. Gus squinted and started thinking. Then they realized that the filling station wasn't actually a gas station, but a water fountain. Do you know why? Cars were expensive in a hundred years ago and were always breaking down, so most people used horses at that time. So AJ's Main Street filling station was water. Then Violet asked a few questions, and then Jesse read the final poem. Violet couldn't understand what all the words meant, so she asked a few questions. One of them was, how can we f follow where these waters flow? There is no river or creek. Then Henry lifted a few more vines aside, and then he saw a small spout sticking out from the ground and that's how water got into the, the filling station. If too much water got in there, it would flow over the sides and run downhill. The road was going east, so that's where they had to go. Then they went east to those finger rocks sticking out of the ground. Then Benny remembered and look, a few days ago he saw some writing. I, he remembered that carving, but it was written backwards. So there was a mirror that Violet used and it said, one mile to AJWN. Benny said, where is that place? Some place called AJWN, Jesse said. So then someone, then Violet realized that AJ is actually Alfred J. Wintham. Alfred J. Wintham Manor, that's his manor. Then they went to Wintham Manor. 
they noticed something. No, we can't. We couldn't go to the Rapunzel Tower. There was a short ladder, but then they had to ask Levi for a telescopic ladder. Then they saw lots of different bricks. Only one was a different color. Violet pressed it. Nothing worked. She pressed it, but it didn't work again. So then all four of them pushed the brick, and then they jumped back, and a small door was there. Then they walked in, and they saw a room as dark as night. Henry said, let's close our eyes until our eyes adjust to the dark. Then they saw something. It said, congratulations. You traveled to my world and solved my riddle. From your friend, Alfred J. Wintham. What do you think is the treasure, the man or, or something else? If you guess something else, you are right. Then they wondered, what is the treasure? Then they went into a room and, and guess what? The types of golden treasure were actually books. The writing was gold and it said Alfred J. Wintham on every book on the spine. Then they figured out that the treasure was actually the books. What a great journey, right? All you children go and read this story. It's very interesting and fun. And you should love it because it has four children that love solving mysteries. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned in on my new videos. I'll fly over to my next video. See you there.